Hey there everyone, this is Ray Carcello for Classic Game Room and the evil Dr. Eggman can't beat Sonic in 2D, 3D, go-karting, javelin, or, or what are we doing now? Oh yeah, hoverboarding. Again. Anyway, we're looking today at Sonic Free Riders for the Kinect. You can choose to play as a three-member team comprised of either Sonic, Knuckles, and Tails, or the returning Babylon Rogues comprised of Jet, Storm, and Wave as you move through the campaign. The campaign doesn't just revolve around racing or coming in first, though, as some missions require you to collect a certain amount of rings, grind so many rails, or hit checkpoints in time trial style. And along with the campaign, you have your standard online and offline free play modes and time trial. The game also has Mario Kart-esque items that give you speed boosts or allow you to slow down and knock out your opponents on the course. And on top of this, you can also give yourself speed boosts by performing tricks and twists on ramps and rails and collect air power for your hoverboard. There aren't many pluses to Sonic Free Riders, but the peripherals are one of them. The music is solid and the voice acting is surprisingly good. The graphics are also very crisp and the tracks you have to maneuver your way through are simply beautiful and breathtaking. Aside from this though, the game is basically the same as all the other Sonic Riders games, as in that it's really just an average racing game with some franchise characters thrown into it, but the twist for selling this one obviously is the use of the Kinect. You face forward to brake and you turn to the side to get yourself in motion again, and you kick with whatever is your preferred leg to give yourself that aforementioned speed boost. It's just a shame that instead of improving this mediocre racing franchise, the Kinect only makes it worse. The controls are unresponsive at best, and just plain non-existent at its worst. With the Kinect in charge of all controls for the game, you'll find yourself crashing into walls instead of flying to the finish line, and shaking your hands furiously trying to use items that just never seem to fire as you drift farther and farther down in the race standings. Even the menu controls are finicky, and when you give up trying to use your hands and try the voice commands, the game recognizes what you're saying, but refuses to actually perform the action. So no matter how many times you say retry or options, the game will simply give you what you should give this when it comes to picking it up at the store. A blank stare before giving up and just moving on. <laughs> 